motion is for Chancellor Carranza, and it's about the DOE's decision late Friday to prohibit the use of Zoom and Google's video conferencing. Spoken to a lot of teachers and parents this weekend who were really disappointed and um, curious from them and then from myself, you know, why hadn't the DOE looked at some of these privacy concerns before setting up this program? <clears throat> Sorry. And are there concerns that particularly students with special needs who get related services and rely heavily on Zoom for them, that they won't get these uh, services due to, I mean, some people have said that Microsoft Teams is very confusing and they don't even know if they can download them. So if you could speak a little bit about the DOE's process. Thank you. Yeah, so um, look, we are very concerned about all students getting the support that they need. Does anybody really think that we want students' personal information out there for anybody to see, for anybody to access? That's absolutely unacceptable. So we put out guidance and it doesn't go into an effect. It doesn't go into effect tomorrow. We want people to gradually transition to another format. Zoom, and we've been working with Zoom, is unwilling and unable to meet the security needs of our students. We will not put our students' information out on, in cyberspace for anybody to access. That is unacceptable. So the notion that we would let that happen is just not, it's not reality. Now, that being said, we want students and all of our families to get the support that they need. So we're going to transition. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's a transition to another format. The good thing is we have teachers that have bachelor's and master's and doctorate degrees that can figure this out. But we're going to make sure that our students' information is not out there for everybody to access. So work with us. We're going to do this in a, in a very, very thoughtful manner. But that being said, we also want to be very clear that we're going to keep our students' information safe and secure. And when this was brought to our attention, like it's been brought to everybody's attention across the country, I'm in conversation with colleagues across the country that are superintendents of large school systems. This is not an issue of New York City. This is an issue across the country. We are going to make sure that our students' information is safe during this time period and going on. So it's not going into effect tomorrow. We're going to have a time to transition. Listen to our guidance. We're going to help you make the transition. But we don't want students to go without the, the services that they need.